Nature. I like this place. Shall we play a game? Oh. <laughs> love to. How about... Hey everybody, we are back. It's Friday and it's popper time. And before I even get going on the deck list or whatever, I want to give a huge shout out to Fun 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 18. The, yeah, that's his uh, handle online. Just out of the blue, emails us and was like, I want to give you guys money. And I was like, well, uh, all right. And then made good on it. Just a few minutes later, I got a trade request and gave me all their tickets. So huge uh, thanks. And uh, I don't know, kind of gets me thinking maybe there's a little Patreon in our future or something like that. I don't know, because we've been getting a lot of... Uh, requests about kind of donations uh coming in so uh that's that's been nice if you notice a little luma flare on me or just uh as far as the camera goes last week it was it was super hot in here and so i opened up all the windows and so the, it's really breezy here and so sometimes the blinds will open up and i might get really white or really chrome dome shiny so uh popper tim little fight and ken waku in the house all right good to hear that ken waku i like people on their lunch break give you uh Nice little reprieve. All right, so we got 16 basics in this and two steps. This is Nichols' first ever um, 5 I didn't know that, but he was thrilled. I uh, shared it with me, I think, the day before. And then he was like, oh, my God, I got a 5 So hats off to him. Good job. The only change, I think he, he had the... Um, uh, one of one of each of these or the um, uh, Kabara Crossroads. It gives you two life. I just want to draw on the deck. So that's the only change I made, and we discussed it too. He, I think he's going with a 1-1 split now. Anyway, we got four Cartouche, four Death Blades, four Ication Javeliers, three Inspectors, uh, four Falcons, three Mutagenics, three Cathars. We got three Sky Hunters, uh, four Sky Fishers. Really serve double duty in this deck with all the... Uh, Javelineers and four journeys and then we got the new card cavalry drill master I thought this was a new card smell sort of inclusion and then I played it and wow it's um you know with the skyfisher there it might might not even want to play that that uh, machinist one that acts like a skyfisher again because uh, that first strike is no joke when it, and then it gives it plus two zero, and so it's it's meant the difference a few times uh, and in our sideboard we got two sunlands two last breath two lone missionaries three standard bears one aura fracture two prismatic strands and three relic of progen pro is it pro progenitus i always say it wrong i apologize so gotta um, move on over here and hopefully we don't get bouncing screens and off we go let's see what everybody's saying jason happo good to see you and thanks for chiming in uh vaparilli hello hello nickels in the house all right yes yes and uh love lady love lady alters hey all right very cool good to hear from you i think that's the first time but if you caught the top of the show i went just crazy this last or actually just yesterday i spent probably 12 hours editing stuff <laughs> no joke and uh We've got the new commercial. If you haven't seen it, uh, just wait around. We'll, we'll be airing that. But we've got all new breaks today. Um, when you hear me say Hornless Unicorn in the past, I finally found a way to record the skit because it's old enough that uh, I couldn't find any footage of it. And Comedy Central is really stingy about that stuff. So not like I'm making any money. Uh off of any of this stuff so uh it always cracks me up when i like we introduce people to like the upright citizens brigade or uh, i think a few times uh back when we could do it uh key and peel and they're like they make the point like the only reason i bought stuff or did this stuff is because i saw it on the show and it's like and i'm also gonna probably completely nix the uh, monetization on youtube it's just i haven't made a penny and after all these years and almost what probably over a thousand videos now um and then the second you are about to make money, they change it and say, oh, now you got to do this. And it's just an irritant, I think, when people get bombarded with ads. And if it's not going to pay off, then screw it. So, <laughs> boy, there is nobody in the queues today. I'm glad I have a lot to say. <laughs> oh, thank you for that, Nichols. I appreciate it. Yeah, I, I um, last week, if you if you missed the show, it's uh, you definitely want to watch it. It's probably in our top ten. Not because we did good. Um, I think we went one, four, or two, three. But... 
uh, it was just this, like, like I should have called it the Tony Robbins show because it was just so ridiculous top deck. Like I could just say, you know, Redbird's going to land on my shoulder and bam, it would just land on my shoulder. And so it, it's, it's a pretty fun show to watch. Uh, it, but anyway, that's got me thinking of that, that optimism angle that we were talking about last week. So I kind of made a card frame to kind of poke fun at myself that way. So anyway, here we go. We're off to the races. I know I say that too much. I got to quit it. Three land hand. That's almost flood for this, but we'll like it because anytime you get this and this, it's good times. We'll keep this. We really want to see Delver all day long with this. So, so Ra's in the house. Good to see you, buddy. I saw it on YouTube called Everything. Yeah. We are playing Nichols' uh, build of kind of a soldier weenie. Soldier weenie, or let's just call it White Nickel. That'd be a cool name, right? All right. And then again, a big big shout out to Nichols for his... Everybody give him a round of applause. Getting his first 5-0. I didn't even know that. I take it for granted. Not that I'm getting a lot these days, but, you know... In a league, I usually get two or three of them, especially playing these. These It looks like we're up against Burn. Don't want to make any presumptions. Oh, and Methonical and I are creating a new deck that might be able to be spoiled pretty soon. I'm going to go volume here. I'm going to save the cartouche for uh, hopefully he brings out um, one of his dudes. I, I don't. If my logic here, I would normally play Sky Hunter, but not against Burn second turn he's probably going to have a searing blaze and so i want to get that out because i'll still be able to hit him for three next turn if he pops it but uh i want that sky hunter to to at least earn the searing blaze if it's a turn three fine you know da, da, da. plus we've learned that facebook is making the move towards hosting yes yes and we might we might be going that route too so they're uh they're moving things up there so again sorry if uh my camera looks a little bright or brighter than usual. I just, uh, I think it's better than a sweaty host like last week. Towards the end, it was like, oh my God, crazy. So there's, we'll get the occasional bird song. Nothing wrong with that, right? Let's pop this dude out. Let's bring this out just so I've got three options next turn. And if he does bring out like the uh, alchemist or, yeah, thermal alchemist, um, I'll actually be able to kill it because I'll be able to drop that third cartouche on him. All right, so... He's having a day like we usually have, sitting on one mana. But if you keep one mana, that's that's your bad. Sideboard is good versus burn, says Nichols. Yeah, I didn't do as good as you. I think I went 3-2 privately with this. I just had a... I ran in a Tron just all day long. And as you know, that, that, can, that can get to be a drag. And of course, the games I played against Tron, I was like really flooded. I think the mana on this is just just right. Nichols, what are you running now with those two spots? I, I went with both steps. Don't provoke alchemist. <laughs> Popper Tim, good good name. All right, but yeah, again, uh, again, thank you so much to Fun 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 eighteen. It's fun three times with an eighteen. He's enjoying uh, wrestling and pizza today. I I heard and uh, yeah, good times. All right, hey, look, this guy's gonna show up for us. There's no need to really ho hoard lands. Um, just gonna go all out. I wish I had a lifelink dude, but I'll be all right. I'm gonna pick on something uh, in case he's got some trick. Try to spread the love here a little bit. We'll bring this dude out. And here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So, yeah, lots of new skits. We've got the Hornless Unicorn. We've got a really funny news broadcast weatherman thing. That's uh, I know it sounds kind of, huh, but it's it's pretty cool. Oh, and if you saw the top of the show, I'm sorry if I, I lost my train of thought earlier. Um, I've, there's, I'm sure you guys have all seen those uh, Old Spice ads. They're, they're really, really, really uh, funny. Um, anyway, uh, this one that was based on nature, it showed like a, uh, I, well, I put it in the frame battle screech at the very top of the show and, uh, yeah, it was, it was good times. Burn, we'll say. Aha, that's right. Yes. I got to stop saying that. Did I say it again, Jason? All right. That's a W. Let's go over to our sideboard and put in two last breaths. Prismatic strands come in. I think I'm going to bring in my, our uh, standard bears just to draw fire. And we don't need the javelin ears at all in this. We're going to be able to eat our own dude with this in a pinch. So that's cool. Mutagenic. Uh, a little iffy about that. I mean, it will save a creature, but we are kind of hurting ourselves if we do that. Um, and outside of the two backsides, I think I'm going to lose that. Yeah, I'm just going to go with a purism angle. Oh, missionaries, duh. <laughs> Glad I didn't hit enter. It just shows a little uh, experience I have with the deck here. Um, 
lose one cartouche. And I, I really like um, our, what do you call the loyal Cathars for the uh, ability of the, uh, you know, being able to attack and still trip that. So, Ruzmov, good to see you. I want to buy a vehicle from Venzers. Ah, that's the spirit. <laughs> yeah, we were uh, toying that idea around. I think like even two or three months ago, we were like, we got to do it like a vehicles ad. I mean, probably should have done it when it, vehicles were all the rage, but what you going to do? And hats off to a little fight for a great VO there. I'm going to lose a drill master, actually. Not running into too many combat tricks. It's a 2 2 body, but I want to preserve the rest of this stuff. So let's go. Do, do, do. I like missionaries and hope. Boy, burn is no joke anymore. So, uh, I mean, it's never been a joke. It draws decent. You've, you've got to have hate or you're dead. Outside of a COP red, if that became an issue, maybe. Of course, lists like this, you can run the uh, rune of protections. If you're new to those, maybe you could bring one up in the chat. One of our teammates here uh yeah runa protections are cool because they offer you the ability to cycle so if you need to have that little punch or the opponent's screwed and you don't need it go get another card it's really good for impatient people like me all right we got our lands right we got defense we got air power we got redirection this is feeling good nickels all right we'll keep this what's this i make what easy I, i'm i'm losing my train of thought there we go aha Nichols with the Kelder Marauders info. Oh right, yeah, those are tough. It's not worth journeying, and you still get, still get wailed on. And what this is one of those decks. I've, I've, in my own mind, I call them like. Uh, well, I guess the best word is electricery. I was trying to think of like tricking electricery, but the trickery is right in the word. But electricery, um, this gives the illusion that electric uh, electricery is good against it. And obviously, there's going to be times when it is, but. Well, just like the inspector right now and, uh, you know, the, the sky fisher, a lot of times they only end up getting like two for one or maybe even just one for one or, or you know, they, they concede, they open, show their hand and they show it. So I, I like that. I like being able to trick electricery. Yeah. All right. Somebody's had a little bit too much caffeine today. Actually, I haven't. I'm just uh, fired up. Fired up for no reason. Best way to best way to be. OK, let's uh, since this will at least draw fire this time let's bring this out next turn I'll probably get a land back and then uh, cast the uh, sky fisher into the inspector if we don't get a land if we do I'm considering sitting back on prismatic strands I like to use that early and often we're already down to 16 but hopefully this will all right we got a nice target that's a nice little time walk turn I'm just glad it didn't eat a searing blaze there Cool. Let's see one of the new cards. How has it been performing? Pretty darn good. I uh, I was wrong. I th I didn't think it was going to be. I mean, it's a good card, but I didn't think it would be as good as it is. And it's a uh, it's proven to be awesome. So, uh, I got kind of a stultified turn here, but it's better than having an amplifier out. Oh, let's see what we can see here. And you know, if your play style dictates, you can always add the uh, obsidian alkalites for black or the uh, crimson ones for red. Good time. So that Rift Bolt's going to hit us. Or did he double Rift Bolt? Yeah, he did. All right. So this would be a really good time to draw land because we can uh, just pl uh, drop. Oh, OK. Well, it's not going to go according to plan. If we had a, a plane there. I would have just uh, stopped and then just been able to save our standard bear and three damage to our own. But what you going to do? We're probably going to trip that clue here pretty soon. Good news is often don't need to with the um, draw available in the deck. Coming up, warming up to these guys a little bit, a little bit. I see the power of the clue. Always seem like not enough, but um, yeah. Yo, yo, Mike, man. Oh, my God. It's been forever. Where have you been? Oh, no, that was a good play. <laughs> he tripped that, but we only took one from that. So that's that's good times. But we're going to end up taking a whopping seven unless he drops another land here. Yeah, yeah, I know. Sometimes you've been waiting in the weeds to use a magic reference, but it's good to see you uh, here and in full effect. Dun -dun -dun. Pulled out my M19, thinking they might be good. Don't know what to th uh, what to throw them in, though. Hmm, not sure. Love Lady Alters. That's always nice. If your moniker is accurate, it's so nice to have people of the female persuasion joining us. Uh, we used to have... Oh, what was... I feel so guilty. I know she um, changed her name like twice, but did anybody remember? Who was our... We had a really regular uh, female viewer for a long time. That was just awesome. And she, uh, she went away. 
Darn it. Maybe she's out there and changed her name yet again. Who knows? Mike Ben. Yeah, Arch Naomi. That's right. That's who it was. That's who it was. So maybe maybe they'll come back through. Fake 1884. Ninjutsu inspectors can be a lot of fun. Yeah, ninjutsu and just about anything's fun. But uh, I really liked what the professor via... Uh, you know, help getting help with. Uh, boy, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Hold on. What was saying about uh, uh, Popper in general? You know what? Just to keep my tempo going, I'm just gonna pull red right now. I know it's kind of a waste for one. I just don't want that to be five next turn. Um, but anyway, what they were saying uh, with regards to. Uh, Popper being noticed by like the mothership and, and Mark Rosewater and stuff and trying to sneak in a little bit more uh, draw or fixing or scry and stuff. And yeah, the inspector goes a long way towards, uh, well, not a long way, it goes a little ways towards that. So here's a neat scenario. I mean, we can attack here um, when we normally probably wouldn't be able to. But first, we're going to uh, we're gonna drop our Skyfisher to get extra value out of our lands. Just love builds with Skyfisher for many a reasons. This is one of them. We'll pop this on here. Try to get prevent me from having to uh, use this next turn, but I think we're going to lose this one. He's got four cards in hand. We don't have much uh, much going on here. Okay, so we're going to take one, but this is nice because then we can uh, take this back. Boom, boom. So there's a nice example of the drill master yelling at the dudes, say, get in line. Does anyone know why Silverbreak Griffin is not for sale? Hmm, uh, flying. Can't be blocked. Not sure. I haven't looked into it. I don't think... Is it legal for Popper? I don't think I've... Can't be blocked. It's a hmm. Weird. I'm just saving life here. I want that thing to live all the time. Probably going to eat a fire blast. Nope. All right. Hey, it worked. Now the drill master is gonna act like a instant bone splitter. So that's when it's really cool to work out. Oh, it'd be so nice to have drawn the, uh, you know who? The, uh, all right, let's put this on somebody we don't care much about in case he's got an answer. Attack! And, Kablawi, maybe? Boink? I'll make it eventually. Nerd of the core's in the house. Good to see you. Been a while. Win. All right. Nichols, you did it again. All right. Nice WW to start the day here, folks. Rock on. Okay, we're going to just jump into the next one. Hopefully it doesn't take as long as it did uh, that, that first one. Apologies for that. That took forever. So uh, everybody's showing up today. Good to see everybody. All right. All right. Cross those off. Good times. But yeah, it'll be interesting uh, moving forward. Uh with uh, how they're, whatever. Do you have any uh, more info on that, Nerd of the Core, about uh, the Rosewater conversation? Or that's, uh, hopefully it's not just, uh, what do you call, dressing or, or uh, when, when people are just uh, saying they're going to do something and, and don't come through. But it would be so cool to just give other colors access to draw, scry, anything. Ah, crazy. Kept up with Burn. What's up? All right. Here we go. All our stinks our opponent. Yeah, we want to play first. Good hand. Good hand. I would like one of these to be the, uh, whatchamacallit, the first strike goodness, but we'll keep this. I wish we knew who we were playing. Like, if this is, uh, I guess Deathblade's the the play. It's, it's, uh, I, you kind of want, if, you know, if you get a first turn Delver, Probably the most probable. What do you guys think? Drop War Falcon aggro or Death Blade for... Uh, I mean, we've got Journey, so I'm going to lean on the Falcon for my first play. But if you disagree, let me know quickly. Blowing smoke. That's what it is. Jason, I need I need you in my ear, man. Got to get you, like, calling in and telling me what to say. You're, let's see. Ken Waku, it's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Professor's always been really supportive. I uh, can't say enough about that guy. And obviously it pays dividends it, it grows and grows but yeah i think uh whenever our commercials do get seen by like oh wow that's quite a bit more than usual it's it's always his influence so sharing the love gotta love that that's nice all right so i think ooh elves all right well we got a really good hand against elves i just that yep, boy want to see that don't i we'll drop this we'll drop this and that might be it 
I mean, this is like the perfect elves draw. Like you go ahead and drop your thing. I mean, if we if we get, let's do that positive thinking again, right? One more cartouche. That's what we're going to draw next, because then we can just stop just about everything in the deck. The orange mitten. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I like it. I don't know what it means. Popper Tim, very interesting. Dun, dun, dun. Got an elf slaying knife. It's like plus nine elves. Ah, yeah. Crush your nemesis. That is right. Start doing the Conan speak. What is best in life? To fly with falcons, to first strike with elites, and to journey all of the elves. That is good. All right, here we are. So we're going to take down Birch Lore if I have anything to say about it. Aha. We don't want life happening here. No life for you. I think we're just going to attack, zap, hit, boom. Yeah, we'll do all kinds of good stuff this turn. Well, that helps, but let me get this activated. Bring on this. Chop this down. No life for you. Attack with everything. Make this block funny how long Deathblade Elite has been in the format, right? And it took Heroic, all of a sudden I mean, it's a damn good card. Yeah, I want to use the ability. I'm talking too much. I gotta, I gotta be careful. I'm not gonna throw my first punt of the day. Oh, and uh, the player I think is uh, handles Proteus. We hosted him yesterday. Fantastic. It was like uh, hosting Spock. It was just uh, very cool to hear his... Uh, just outspoken math with regards to combat math and stuff. Um, forget what he was playing, but man, it was, it was, uh, it's a lot of times I'll host and then I, I go do other things, but I actually caught myself like watching like the majority of it. It was like, damn, this is, this is good stuff. All right. So this poor guy, he's having a day like we usually have whenever I'm streaming. Not usually, but it seems to, seems to be the, uh, the way of it. All righty. Um, he might have a vines here. Could trip it now. I'm just gonna take out the stuff, but yeah, I feel a little bit bad for this guy. This is uh, walking into a buzzsaw of like a perfect draw against uh, elves. Well built, Nichols. Well built. <laughs> There's another uh, otherworldly journey. Is another one I've always been trying to use. Yeah, I want to use the ability. Oh yeah, but hey, don't don't jinx us there. <laughs> Lately, I'd be happy with a 3-2. I've been playing way too much Rogue, but you got to curve this low, and it's good times. Our opponent is attempting an illegal block. Call the elf police. Actually, police would probably be a white mana thing, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Hey, all right. The clouds are moving in. That's probably why I'm so happy. Get rid of this filthy hot weather. All right. Actually, it's been pleasant according to most humans, but when you've been raised a vampire, unless it's midnight and cold out, I'm not happy. It's getting worse with age. It's terrible. All right. Hmm. We're going to kill that. We're going to do that. This poor guy. I mean, this is just like... Let's bring this out so we can kind of do a, a twofer next time. And I'm going to I'm gonna bring out the elite just so maybe we'll get like a concession. That would be pretty cool. We'll go like this. We'll say, hey, you, you got a block. Good times. Yeah. Yeah, when you, it's, you know, the secret to building a good rogue deck right out of the gates is just have that curve below and don't skimp on mana because you're just going to have those wins. Like, well, that first game against Burn, you know, I just stuck on one mana for a while and their fault. You shouldn't keep a one mana hand. Who knows? Maybe, maybe, uh, I guess Burn, yeah, you, you, can, you can depending on, on the hand, but, um, you get that really consistent curve going where it's just that avalanche of one drops so two and then like if it costs more than that it's either a backbreaker or you can flash it back for free or things like that very cool this poor guy I'm, boy hats off to this player they are just sticking with it here comes the uh elf mama i think that's what i'm fond of calling her this is hard for me to pronounce the lord kimchi yes yeah we'll have it on the uh 
we'll have it listed, or you can just PM uh, Nichols right now, and he can send it to you in chat probably. It's uh, been really, really decent. I mean, just really, really enjoying it. How did this many elves come out? My goodness, what's going on? All right. All right. Let's uh, let's play this. Now we're going to cartoose that hunter. He's like, good grief. Can this guy draw any more hate? This is getting ridiculous. I am not going to mess about. We're going to go like that. Just chop down these numbers right quick. Go like this. Uh, this is that one. This is that one. Okay, so we'll go here. And I'll say uh, him. And then this is uh, this one. That's our that's our heavy hitter, right? Ah, this is confusing. This one is that guy. This one looks like it's that guy too. That's weird. Strange. Well, hopefully this uh, works. Yeah. So do I want to use this ability? Yes. And the other one I don't. Oh, okay. All right. So there's another win against Els. I'm sure the rest of the games are not going to be that easy because longbow's a thing. Provocation at its finest. La Lord Kimchi. I love that name. I eat kimchi every single morning. I have an avocado, a bunch of kimchi, and two hard-boiled eggs and mush it all together. It's my hot sauce breakfast. I love it. Drillmaster might be what we can take out here. I'm definitely going to want Prismatic in here just to buy us some time. Sunlance is way going to come in. If you thought it was hateful before, just wait. I'm going to bring in two standard bears. Three might be a bit much. Maybe, maybe not. We've got the heat package. That's good. Uh, inspectors, that's good. More Falcons. I'm going to lose the Mutagenics here. I'm not going to be running up against much. These will be good for uh, crashing into stuff. Once we get everything set up, I want to keep our flyers. I want to keep things. I'm going to lose the drill masters to the one and done shot. They're not going to uh, be doing much. I'm thinking maybe one last breath might be a good in a pinch. Or the last standard bear. Let's do that. Hey, have some faith, man. All right, all right. That third journey is just salt in the wound. That's right. A sulfur, baby, right? Isn't that the uh, quote from uh, uh, Flaring Pain? Something about using sulfur in wounds? Gross, says Lady Alter. Yes, but I mean healthier than most of my breakfast. Oh, yeah. No, I'm all, uh, I'm I'm kind of a weirdo when it comes to food. I can eat like the same thing over and over and over again. And I just, it's, don't knock it till you try it. It's really, really good. But I've always had a thing for kimchi and finding out all these crazy benefits after having it for so long with, uh, actually the last time I was ill was like four or five years ago. And uh, I'm just your common cold and stuff like that. And that's like right when I started kind of having that regularly. And uh, yeah, it's very cool. All right, here we go. Not as good, but still pretty damn good. I, yeah. Okay, we're going to lead with elite. Obviously, we'll keep this. They did not see that many flyers game one. So maybe they skip on the archers. Yeah, and I don't really mind. They're going to have to really you know, query an archer, double do 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 other than the war falcon, it's like everything's gonna take multiple activations. It's really gonna, you know, hold them back, I think. So we'll keep they're at, they're keeping seven land hand. That's kinda scary against elves. Definitely one of the very best decks in Popper. And I would play it, but now it's popular, so I don't like it. See Nichols, if this deck gets popular, then I'll I'll ward it off too and go to the next thing. But Thonicol and I are already working on that. It's a uh, version of Gone that's just it's, uh, what do they call it? Uh, we've got d double infinite possibilities with the, with the new build. So, uh, hopefully we'll be able to showcase that maybe next week. I actually, it's not very streaming, uh, friendly deck. Sometimes it can be a little too click intensive. So, all right, everything looking and sounding good guys. Keep the chat coming. Love hearing from you all. We're going to be, uh, don't go anywhere on these breaks cause we've got all new stuff. Um, all kinds of free time on my hands these days so um i've got all new not well we do have a new commercial today um spoiled it on youtube but a lot of people don't even find us on youtube so that's all good all right well we've got this dude that dude i think we're gonna crash into the sentinel to stop the uh, double activation pings from going down eh, yeah we could drop that come on just a plane would be nice all right so we'll play this and 
drop this on here and it's deja vu just a little slower we went second and we got a little uh, stuck in the mud with our step but you got to pay your dues when it comes to these things as far as I uh, aggro draws you don't want to get flooded and you don't want to get screwed I wonder what the official take on that is like if they did a huge survey of all magic players would you rather be flooded or screwed probably flooded yeah it's just I have a, a here, I mean, a uh, just a knee-jerk reaction against Flood because I'm always trying to stuff retrace into every build because it's such a great mechanic for avoiding that and getting those fast draws and being able to do more later and, eh, you know, good times. Lord Kimchi, hopefully you're eating more than just regular kimchi. I really like the radish kimchi. Oh, the one, yeah, funny, I'm, I'm not into the one that's in the cubes. I just like the standard. And, and I, love, I love hot sauces of all kinds, but they have a spicy one, and I'm just like, eh, it's a little bit too much. Boy, I feel bad for our opponent. This is a this is a really good deck against Elves and Delver. But like I said, the uh, two losses I had were against Boros and Tron. Hopefully, we just see a bunch of Delver after this. That'd be pretty cool. We could do that. We could do this. Let's just attack here. Dun 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 dun. dun. We're gonna go like this. Say yes. Oh, uh, if he's thinking here, this was a bad move on Bind. He can, he should have pinged in response, and if I untapped it, then he could have double shot this. Of course, I would have had to fall for it, but that's all right. If uh, if you're ever getting attacked by Deflate Elite and you have ability to tap your creature, do it. I used to do that in the uh, the green build. That was a lot of fun. Looks like, oh, okay, so he timed it just the different way. All right. Well, you think that's worth a journey? I'm not sure. So we saw a version of that there. That's pretty cool. All right, mister. Let's try to shut the door on this. That seems a little extravagant, but he knows what he's doing with this archer. And I want him to have to just reset an entire turn and turn that thing on again. We'll just go from there. Time to block. <laughs> In Waku. Ooh. I'm losing chat, guys. Sorry. Just make sure to at me so I see a big block if you've got a specific question or maybe a fight or somebody can do that because the chat's getting up there now. All right. Well, we've got good times. Let's go from here. This guy's just like, good grief. What do I got to do to get a win against this build, huh? I could have a mutagenic here. That would help. Yes. Mutagenic is a lot like, uh, what's that mental misstep in... in uh, the other formats, a lot of similarities there. You counter target spell, it costs one. It's pretty much doing that. Is this a white weenie or a heroic? It's a little bit of both. Nichols designed. It's his first 5-0. And, uh, you know, he's looking for something a little fun. Throws people off. They think it's weenie. And then they think it's heroic. And it's kind of like just the best of both worlds. I uh, beat heroic the uh, in the league that I, the only league, other league that I played this in. And uh, that, was, that was pretty cool. All right, so the elf is out. Okay, I I really like them including Gleeful in this. I, that's just a kind of a desperate play. Feels like we're not out of the woods yet. Let's turn off all these elves. Let me see. I'd really like a Skyfisher right now to just make us have three man, even though we only have two. So I'm gonna smash into the elf. I don't. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Turn that on. I don't want that to go down. Hmm. Yeah. I'm going to cast another one. Take this dude out. Attack with everything. We are doing six a turn. I mean, minus our heavy hitter. That's the one bad thing. You can feel like, hey, I'm really thrashing this guy. You look up, you're like, wait, they're only at 18. It's like, yeah, because your best hitter is... Uh, acting as like the uh, security guard for against elves. So instead of, what's this, like nine damage prevented now? I mean, so, but small price to pay for keeping elves in check, if you ask me. Bob, we're getting it. Just debating which colors are better for reanimator, UB or RB. Oh boy, that's, that's tough. I've never really been able, reanimator is one of those decks, you take it to the tournament room and it's just doing great. And you're like, yeah, I got the next best thing. This is the perfect recipe. And then just atrocious in a in a tournament or any, any sort of, um, 
you know, real setting like that. Alrighty. What could our opponent be sitting on? Well, they probably just have elves that they can't really do much with. So we'll just smash in here. I'm waiting to drop the uh, standard bearer unless, you know, if something gets out of control. It's only good against like Timberwatch and, and company. So I'm going to let that sit for a while. And remember, when you have first strike damage, prismatic strands is really fun because we could, let's say we sw swung with everything and they did really good block. Well, we could make this hit, kill their dude, and then uh, prismatic strands. Never forget that. That's a really, really cool little uh, trick. Let's bring these dudes out. I think we'll probably get a concession here pretty soon. Nab the wisher. And life is free except the last point. What matters is bold position. Indeed. Could you spread the cartouches out since death blade with one can hit most elves? Yeah, I just I wanna I wanna make sure I can uh alright. So we're up 2-0. That's pretty cool. Nichols, maybe I can catch you with your 5-0. I'm gonna go get some water. I'm a little bit parched, and we'll be back right after this new one. Come on down to Ventures Vehicles. We offer the cheapest prices for any vehicle your heart desires. Check out this gorgeous Fleet Wheel Cruiser, equipped with Aether Power Steering and weather light windows. Stop. Or if speed's your thing, you won't beat our open chase dragster in any race. And you'll never beat our price. Here at Vincer's Vehicles, we specialize in transports of all types. Like this demolition stomper. Perfect for those weekend construction projects or just taking a stomp through the woods. And even better is our price. Wow, wait. From wheels on the ground to ships of both sea and air, we got them all. Vehicles of every rarity and always for the lowest price. That's Fencer's Vehicles. It were there that I lost me dear Silhana. She walked her last ledge, but folks, me loss is your gain. So it's in her memory, Silhana's Window Walkers was created. The finest window scrubbing in all of Ravnica, cleaning where only flyers dare to soar. Be reminded that they won't be getting blocked by new high prices with us, John John. Don't be getting blocked by high prices, Silhana's Window Walkers. Your pack member since 1906. And we're back. Hopefully you guys like that. I always say the word hornless unicorn. Now you know where the skit comes from. Very cool. All right, off to round three. Let's hope our luck continues here. I actually drew a picture of Sammy J from that movie, and it says, oh, <laughs> very cool. Yes, yes, a lot of uh, references there. Ooh, this is a weird hand. We're on the draw, though. Hmm. There's so many. Yeah, I'm gonna, I think I'm going to keep this, guys. What do you think? Ship it or keep it? The vehicles was my favorite. All right, good to hear from you guys. I love getting feedback on these commercials. Anything mulligan? If we don't draw a land, we've got quite a bit of aggro we can spit out. Mul mul. All right, mulligan it is. All right, better keep it. Love this. I call it the new rule, but it's like oh, it's so cool to see this. You know what? I'm gonna throw this on the bottom. We've got two. We're probably gonna draw one and a few, and we've got sky fishers. So. I'll throw that on the bottom. Yes, little fight is going crazy. All right, if this is elves again, I wish I'd kept the last hand, but if it's stompy, this will be fine too. Let us go with... Hmm. I'm going to lead with Inspector here. I've got a feeling this is stompy, and I don't want to... Whatchamacallit getting turned on. Inspector's nice little roadblock there. He's like a mini Seagate Oracle. Ship it! Hey, it's elves again. Maybe they'll get revenge on us. Oh, boy, I wish we had that last hand now. That was one of those gotcha no matter what hands. All right. In retrospect, I probably, if I had a, or hindsight, 2020, all that, should have led with Falcon. But I, I had a hunch this was Stumpy, but it's not. It's elves. Did he really, Kenwaku? I didn't know that about Patrick Chapin. I'm always... I forget what his... He played Popper for a while, and I had the best record against him. I was always nervous, like, oh, no, it's the pro, but it was just like I just kept kept brewing it. All right, let's drop this and this. I'll go like this. I'm going to attack here. Hopefully we draw into our uh, cartouche. Or, it is a cartouche, right? I forgot. 
got the list around here somewhere. Remember back in the early 90s, you had to reveal your hand if you took a mulligan. Yeah. Or way back in the day, I used to like, I used to like playing forced ante. That was my favorite way to play magic. You look at each other's binders, you pick out a card you want, and you play the game for it. That's how I built my entire collection. I loved playing for Ante. It was the best. Contract from below. Best card ever. I, think I owned a bunch of those. All right, well, we got a nice target for Journey if our uh, cartouche doesn't show up. This is going to be a lot more competitive than the last time. Say goodbye to that. Doink. My problem here with the Death Blade is, uh, yeah, we can we can we can kill Aquarian Ranger, but I'm not quite sure. I'm gonna do that. He can just um, tap it with the uh, Birch Lower, however, but it'll at least give us a little insight on if our opponent can or has moves like that. <laughs> just flinging pencils around here. So I mean, he could double tap and just float mana if he doesn't want to have it killed. I'm just, okay, good. Gives us a little uh, IQ check on our opponent, so I know I can't pull any shenanigans like that, games two and three, if it goes that far. Hopefully it doesn't. I'm going old school, 93-94 tournament tomorrow. Pretty stoked. Oh, tell us about that. Where is it at? You, and again, guys, let us know. I mean, uh, we love to promote stuff. No no fees, no egos. Just if it's popper related, send us an email or chat, whatever. Hit us up. Give us a little bit of time. We can... Uh, help promote it. I don't think anybody won the uh, TE challenge. We had a uh, did a promo for that for mostly just through Discord and uh, they were giving away a pretty nice uh, prize but just shows how hard it is to build a good TE deck. I think time's probably one of the biggest hindrances of those strategies. You just look up and you got four minutes left and it's like you're winning on, on, the, on the board. You're like, wow, this we're doing good, but it's like, nope. What deck are you going to play? Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Yeah, back then. Yeah, when MTGO got, got its thing, and I I st used to you know, play, a, was quite, what am I trying to say? I was a hell of a lot bigger of a grinder back then. I, I don't play as much anymore. But um, I used to uh, sell my deck list for two tickets, and uh, that's, I really built up my account doing that because before net decking was a thing. But, man, then they started just auto you know, revealing everything, and it was like, ah, took the little bit of the mysticism and the kind of, you know, secretive, when it's like your brew and stuff, it was just, a, I don't know, took a little bit of the personality out of the game for me, but it's kind of neat when you you had your little circle of people you could test with, and you hit people with a, like a surprise deck, and you didn't get so much just copy-paste stuff, but what you gonna do? All right, well, our Death Blade's kind of dead here. Because of birch lore. Yeah, I could drill master into something. I really don't want to have to. Actually, if I take out birch lore, this is tough. I could take out birch lore with the journey. That would turn on, so I could kill at least Quarian Ranger this turn. Hmm. Oh, nice, Jason. Yeah, I've always liked that style. Get out quick and then just. You can't do nothing now. I think that's the play here. We're going to journey the Birch Lore. Deathblade's going to take out Quirion because he's stuck at one mana. And taking out Birch Lore is going to help there too. And we've got, we can we can give it back later if we get the thing under control with uh, Skyfisher. But right now, I mean, I'm really going to regret it if he drops some awesome elf next. But I want to make, I think this is the best way to get value out of the real estate we've got on the board right now. I'll hit that up. One of the best elves. I sure wish it had better artwork. I mean, it just really takes our turn out, though. Attack, attack. Come here, Aquarian. I'm going to take you down, sucker. Yeah, I want to use it. I'm not waiting around for a cartouche. Let's go. All right, all right, we'll do that. Now oh, this kind of implies that, I wonder what he's worried about. Yeah, I'm fine with that. That's That was my target anyway, buddy. All right. This is feeling like it could get away from us if he drops a forest and some heavy hit. Oh, there's, there's part of it. And there's the other part. 
I gotta be careful what I say. I'm, I'm like the soothsayer. It seems like the last two weeks, whatever I say happens. So now we're gonna draw a uh, plane followed by a uh, skyfisher. Watch this. Nope. Oh boy, what a kind of a kick in the crotch there. That's uh, hmm. Don't have a time machine, but if I did, probably knows about mutagenic. Yeah. Oh wow, really want a skyfisher next. Let me put the cartouche on that. We're just not going to live long if this keeps up. Let's get some volume out. I just want to cut down on the elf population as much as I can here. All of a sudden, it's instant army. Attack. Hopefully he attacks that little elf. But really glad we got rid of Quarian Ranger here when Timberwatch shows up. It's still going to hurt a lot, but... Morrow Geddon was my first real deck, says Ruzumov. Very cool. So many, so many names. My my brother, some of you affectionately gave the moniker of uh, Semikov. It's, um, he's always giggling at like, like his favorite words, Jess guy now. He's just like, what the hell does that mean? And because it's from an outsider that doesn't know how to play. Whenever I label the shows, he gets like this little notification because he, I, I think he subscribes. I don't know how he gets it, but, uh, just crack up when I when I hear about that. Uh, yep. This isn't going to be doing nothing. I'm going to block here. Stem a little bit of the bleeding. That Timberwatch is going to be a big problem if uh, he goes a little Nova here. i got a feeling we're headed for an elf explosion. I'm going to yield through this turn. I'm waiting for no cartouche. <laughs> All right. Very cool. A little late on that one, though. Hmm. I guess we could take one out. Eh, I gotta keep in mind. One, two, that's two, four. That's a, that's a lot of death coming our way. I'm considering Drill Master here. Let's see, that would be uh, six. Then he'd be dead the next turn. So we've got Journey. If we Drill Master now, we'll still be able to block, and then we've, we, we can just swing for a win. Unless he's got like Quarian Ranger, then I might really regret that. Journey one of them. Unbeaten burn player. Semikov. That's right, Ziscom. I'm glad you remember that. Yep, the most successful player in Magic history. 100% win ratio. Crazy. Let's see. I don't know. See, Drill Master here on the Falcon. They're at four. And we've got him dead next turn. Boy, what do you guys say? Journey... Eternal Center. I'm not quite sure. Journey now. All right. All right. The journeys have it. Let's take out a potential. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. There's. There's. Uh. There's. There's more ways to uh, pull it off that way. Let's go. Pow. Thank you for the feedback, guys. This low latency stuff is really cool now with um, uh, being able to see the text come up so much quicker. And I just wish uh, Twitch would have sent us an email or something being like, because that was a really frustrating about, what was it, about a month or two ago where we had, um, everybody had the issue at once and then like three shows in a row were really affected. And I was like, darn it. But now everything's going really nice and smooth. So, Boy, such nice weather. I could have had the... Everything closed up today, but guess not. All right, what do we got here? We've got the drill master for the win. If it works, let's see. Hey, we're out. we're at eight two. Slow down. Yeah, I don't see anything wrong with that. Drill master for the win. Boink. All of a sudden, we got a Sarah Angel. All righty. Elves again. I hope we don't face a... I want some variety in the stream. I hope we don't face another Elves deck, but we'll see. Okay. All right. Here we go. Two of these. All of these come in. Uh, we bring in the Sun Lance. And what did we take out last time? We took out the Drill Masters. And we took out the Eugenics. And there was one other thing. Did I bring in a... Uh, I think we kept one. 
Oh, that feels right. Yeah, we're at, we're at 60. Duh. Last breath might be uh, might be worthwhile here, but hmm. Bring in one last. Well, I think we'll keep it like this. Yeah, I'm I'm actually looking forward to him. I, I, well, I gotta be careful if I say that because I might have a really journey heavy draw and then he blows it up. And I was just saying like, I like when elves overboards they bring in all of this you know it's like just let your dudes go and just keep stomping it's like uh i mean end of turn maybe with infect is cool with like uh, nature's claim but yeah think of it that jason spell it's bound to happen right uh i just play rogue too much but that's what i think keeps the show fresh and when i got fans like fun 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 18 out there financially supporting us it's a it's a no-brainer it's good times in fact, I gotta see if he wants us to play a deck for such a generous uh, contribution to the channel. All right, missionaries, maybe I don't know. Block, you know what? Let me go this and one missionary. There we go. Let's do that. Woohoo! All right. All right, so we got one, boom, boom. This is feeling good. All we need now is our little Deathblade Elite to show up, and we're all good. We are going to keep this for sure. Unfortunately, our opponent's keeping a seven land hand on elves. That's always scary. All right, let's, I think, maybe take that out first. Pop. Show him what he's up against. Drop the Javelin Nears War Falcon combo next, unless we get the Deathblade going. Yes, fake eight, nine, 1884. All nickels designed, so give them some love. This is cool. We're going to go here and here and pass the turn. Yeah, it's uh, very good against elves and Delver. No, not the Vanguard. Damn you. Those get out of hand so fast. And another one. What's better than one? How about two? Two for the price of one. Okay. Well, I don't... Let's uh, shoot that right away. Turn off your mana. Mr. Mana. Let's uh, do the old standard move here. We'll return our javelineers so we can do some fun stuff here. I'm going to try to keep that cartouche going for drawn to the, the goods. We might need to, uh, if, if this gets out of hand, it's going to happen in the next two turns, and then we're going to really be happy we have prismatic math because we've got creatures in the sky and might mean the difference. Dun, dun, dun. Boy, oh boy. I think we're going to experience our first loss of the day. If he draws pretty much anything after that, this is just getting quadratic. Crazy, 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 crazy. Let's cycle this. Play this. Shoot this. I just, you just cannot wait on those. Bring this out. Uh, I'm thinking I'm going to cartouche now. I know I'm a liar, what I was just saying, but we'll make it prevented from uh, the scatter shot, at least one activation. Get a little bit of a blocker, and it's just going to turn into a uh, race here. I haven't seen any life elves show up yet, so hopefully we can uh, make things happen here. We have lots of blocks. This is right. Damn it. <laughs> All right. Come on. Maybe uh, journey would be nice. Or last breath. Actually, last breath right now would be even on life, and that would kind of suck. I will double block you, mister. All right. That's enough planes. Deck, come on. Well, we're going to net two here at least. Not enough of that damn well over shirt. Ugh. I can't complain. We had such a ridiculous uh, game one against him. So, hey, I'm Carrie 16 Good to see you. Thank you for chiming in today, hanging out with us, having a good time with Nichols' build. He designed this cool little hybrid of weenie meets heroic, and it's doing pretty good. All right. 
that's never going to do anything, so I'm going to preserve my life and block with my little token man. Boink! wonder why he didn't attack with both. This is, doesn't have that much life. Come on, removal. Here's the biggest problem with elves. It's just quality, 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 quality. So if you do have a journey now, it's like, well, you're still trying to kill him, but the timber watch is there, and then it's like, oh, boy. We're just going to keep, uh, oops, what am I tapping two for? Let's go like here. Yeah, I'll go all out on this. Well, so now we're only hitting for two. It's frustrating, so frustrating. That darn elf, and it's only going to get worse. Everything on their end gets bigger and better. The more time we keep drawing land. So come on, uh, sure, journey. Let's let's just turn off that well wisher. How are we going globally? We're uh, I don't quite know what you mean by that. Just given the makeup of the internet, everybody's kind of global, right? We're getting a lot of love from Brazil. A whole lot of love. It's like joking around with Little Five. I was like, yeah, hey, man, I got a vacation there. I'd probably stay to crash at a bunch of people's places for free. <laughs> All right, we'll go like this. Well, we didn't draw land, but. Yeah, uh, this is getting out of hand real quick. It, it feels good right now, but boy, those elves are just going to make everything nice and even again. Boop, boop, boop. Apocalypse coming soon. How are you doing in this league? Oh, we're 2-0, we're, uh, and we're up a game, but it's about to swing rapidly the other way because of these elves. So, yeah. Playing a pretty solid deck, so we should have a pretty solid day. Better results than usual. All right, all right. Yeah, week. You know, sometimes I start something new. I'm like, ah, I've gotta, sh I've gotta share this deck. And a lot of times it's not quite ready. Oh, come on now. Makes me want to have sends and listmen in this. I wouldn't. It's curves too low, and it's kind of the wrong style for it. But this is when you just. Where's our prismatic? Well, prismatic's not even gonna get us out of this anyway. I just gotta. Attack and hope for some errors here. Watch my clock. Oh my gosh, this is... Oh, this is the second game. We won the first one. Glad I write this stuff down. Yeah. A couple more blocks here and I'll scoop. This is uh, outside of like a holy light. Double journey. What would that be? I have to draw four cards. <laughs> yeah, he's at 23. I'm about to scoop here, guys. We'll just see what I draw next. Block, block. Let's go from here. Down he comes. And remember, you can return this to your hand with the Skyfisher, just like this play, and you're all good. But we're going to concede here. We needed a whole bunch of cards other than what we got there, so we're one, one going into game three. It's our first loss of the day, actually. Got a double win against Burn, double win against Elves, and then that. All right. I'm still liking our board. We just drew too many damn lands. So let's get superstitious with it and throw some of these over here and make the, uh, the digital algorithm go on our side. Because everybody knows when I do that, we're unbeatable. Let's do it. Whoop, whoop. All right. Ha. Huh. Yeah, the uh, cues have been taking it a little bit longer than usual. I didn't mean to take such a long break. I was only going to show one of the uh, commercials, but better than just staring at an empty screen. All right. Yeah, we want to go first. Yeah, there. This is feeling pretty good. I'd like this to be a plane, but what are you going to do? We'll keep this outside of a nettle sentinel. We'll at least be able to kill whatever he drops. Kishin javelinier is really nice against a lot of elves. Ah. <sighs> I don't want to see as a, uh, what do you call, spider silk armor. I don't think bringing in the aura fracture is worth that. Of course, that could change my mind quickly if uh, they have a really flooded draw with many of those. So, All right, here we go. Start the hate off early. Boom. I think I'm going to trip those clues pretty fast. Because I want to 
either find our uh, prismatic strands if we get to the mid game, but I really want to get that Deathblade Elite going. This is when I wish I had Gitaxian Probe. You just, I want to know what's in their hand. Because if they, you know, if they've only got one forest, that's good times. Yeah. I'm going to sit here on Skyhunter and I'm just going to hold back. I got to, Elves has a funny, even though they only played 12 or 13 lands, they always seem to have like three or four in their hand. Let's see. Might regret it. I just couldn't live with, I mean, if I had a Skyfisher, I might have popped it, but if he drops pretty much anything, it's like, this can live. There's a good example there. Might let him keep that. All right. We'll pop this here. Really want a Skyfisher now. There we are. All right. Good times. We'll play this. Hmm. I think double inspector here. Oh, let's go like this. That way our, uh, I'm just, you can, I could feel the tension in my shoulders leave whenever I draw prismatic strands. I'm like, ah, oh, it's kind of like having like some double life insurance policy and you're able to fake your own death or something. I don't even know what I'm talking about, but that's, that's what it feels like to me. Lead the stampede. Reset the board here. All right, let's see what we can see. I love for the last two or three weeks, I have stopped the bouncing screen issue. I think I've found the re way to do it. I grab this and I drag it all the way over here, and then it, and you have to kind of reset it. So, all right, we've got one target in that. Damn well wisher. All right, we really want Skyfisher here. That helps a lot. I think I want to trip the clue. Let's see what we draw. Let's trip it. All right, now I'm not feeling so worried about having to be like ultra hateful about anything. Um, I kind of want to get in more damage here. I'm going to put this on the uh, inspector actually. At least that way we can uh, attack a little bit more. Let's go. What's up, Mr. Duct Tape? Good to see you. All right. So double journeys feel good. Stop that well wisher from resetting the life. Got prismatic. And if we draw a land here, that'd be pretty cool. We could we could double in on that. We might have to use a journey on the uh, Vanguard. It doesn't feel like Vanguard's that OP against a deck that can go this wide too. Or we've got a lot of uh, block options, so. Not too worried about that, but well wisher definitely. That's we saw last game. That gets out of hand really quick. There's our well wisher of sorts. I'm not gonna waste any time killing this. We've already lost the ability to attack with our dude. That's about all I got. Alright, journey, please. I'd really like to see journey. Turn on the javelineers. I could reset the man. It just a lot of options. I think we've got to just pull a block fest. Yeah, that's as the game goes on, that's less and less of a problem, the priest. That sucks. All right, this has gotten problematic really quick. All right, I might be able to bait him into a, a prismatic war here. Hmm. Let's get rid of that Vanguard. That way, if we do bounce stuff later and they're hellbent, we can always bring it back. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. And uh, I'm just going to try to instigate trades here. Well, God, I can't even do that, can I? I forgot that damn thing's backside's so huge. All right. Well, here's our well wisher. Maybe do an alpha strike and trip strands on offense just so we can push through some damage somehow. Don't be... Okay. 
that's just about everything they tap for. You're like, no, no. I mean, the only thing we really want to see them draw is like Elvish Mystics, but even then they've got more uh, blockers. So we've got nine minutes. This is going to be a close one. It might be our first loss of the day. Ooh, I hate that card. We are going to have to trip a clue. For sure. Now the priest is making dues, but... Oh, boy. All right. Still, the problem card is the well-wisher. Those are some big elves. Oh, no. We, we 2 owed it earlier. It's not a bad matchup. It's just we've given them too much time. We can probably survive that. Let me trip the clue. Timber! <laughs> Well, we got blockers for days, don't we? Yeah, I think we're going to lose this one, guys. You know, had I cartouched the uh, Sky Hunter, he'd probably be at like six, but he's, it's not going to matter because the Well-Wishers, so that wouldn't have been enough. So that feels feels good that I, if that could be interpreted as a punt, it still wouldn't have mattered. I don't think it, it was a punt, but... It might feel like a... Oh, boy. All right, here comes our first loss of the day. I don't know if there's much wiggling out of this. Unless he forgets to do this or a lot of other things. All right. Come on through. Kill this. Open up the board. Yep, I think you're right, love lady altars. We are close to death. You can smell it. We don't need this. All I can hope for here is like a really nice combo of blocks and catch him off guard. Maybe he just gets really reckless and comes in with a lot of stuff. Doubt it. Pretty hard to screw up with this board state. Yeah, we just didn't. It shows the uh, prominence of, of how good we never saw in either of these games. We never saw our uh, Deathblade Elite. It shows you that is a trump card against elves, especially when it's backed up with all this. But if we block with everything, one, two, that's four, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twenty. That doesn't even matter. I think I'll just save the strands. He doesn't have trample, so our us. Uh, Skyfisher math is way out of the woods with a uh, spider silk, so not too bummed out about losing that. All righty. Well, we could give him back, what, a Vanguard? Take out the Wellwisher. They're at 31. We've lost this one, guys. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're right about that. The Oblivion Ring comment, that's a good one. I've been doing that, I think in my latest Gone build, I completely got rid of Journeys, and I actually play Oblivion Ring's main. It's just such a catch-all. As long as you're running uh, good old Sky Fishers, it's pretty hard to go wrong. All right. I'm going to hold that back. I don't think we can survive if he trips that. So we've, we've, we're just kind of stuck here. I'm sorry I'm playing this out. I, pr I probably should just scoop here. If you guys want me to, just tell me. Yeah, I've... Holy Lights. Even that's not that good against elves. I mean, there's those occasions where it is, but once they know you're packing it or whatever, they can just... Spider Silk completely shuts it off. We'll, we'll get one more draw here, and then we'll have our first loss of the day. We're already 2-1 if this one goes the way I think it will. It's kind of cool, though. We, we trounced elves with, you know, two games in a row. Felt, like, really lopsided. And we, we started off winning in this one, and then got away from us a little bit too much life recuperation and well you guys know the story but I'm not saying anything new this is so, so obvious what we're doing here it's like here comes prismatic especially if they know me as a lover of all things prismatic let's do this and just survive one more turn yeah I wish they would too they're playing it smart gaining the life pull that on green Go like this. See what we got. All right. More land. Make a journey, but the life's just too big. 
Oh, was again, we don't have a sweeper in this, so that one's over. All right, let's go off to the fourth round. Hopefully we can um, maybe 4-1 now. 3-2 be fine, too. It's all good. I could roll to something while we're waiting, but my the person would probably show up the second I do that. So we'll see. Yo. Yeah, so that, that's kind of cool, you know. We... We really trounced elves in round two, just two o two o, or I mean the f the first two rounds, and then um, but yeah, if that death blade elite. So moving forward, if you play this deck, and you know you're going against elves, if that's the sample size, I think it's pretty good. You might want to mulligan a iffy hand if it does not have, or if you remember uh, round two, I think it was round two, or I mean. Game two of that last one, I think, was when we had the uh, step elite draw. I think that probably would have made us 3-0 on the day. But that's all behind us now. Okay. Here we go. Yeah, we want to play first. Yeah, I'll keep it. it sounded like Orson Welles there for a minute. Because of the step flood otherwise, but we'll be all right. All right. So here's an interesting scenario. I'm going to lead with the Falcon. Playing aggro for a reason. Let's put them under the gun. Don't know what they're on, so if I knew it was Delver or Elves, obviously I'd probably lead with the Javelineers. Drillmaster and Falcon is cool. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Drillmaster and a lot of things. I'm just glad the Drillmaster actually won a game, like, solo with that, that uh, first one against Elves. That was cool. All right. Well, if he's really on the ball, he might pop this. I'm going to wait on the other one. Get our little air power going here. You need to think about it, man. This is a, more than a fire blast a turn if, he, if he's on burn again. It's going to be weird if this is another burn deck. I sure hope it's not Boros. It looks like it's burn. We're going to get cursed? Or is this... All right, that's much better than a Searing Blaze. Sorry about this, guys. It's, this is like a propaganda first. We've had boring shows where it's all Demir or control decks, but this is weird. Burn, elves, elves, burn. Strange. Good news is we've got a really fast, aggressive hand here, and I think we're going to be able to race them pretty easily. We'll drop this. Not really worried about removal at, at this stage. I'm going to put this on here. I'm going to drop another dude. Not too worried about any uh, shenanigans with regards to electricity unless they're playing at main, which would be a really weird call for a burn deck, but what are you going to do? Dun, 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 dun. Now, I want to get... Drillmaster's still a 2-1 body. Put a hurting on him. That way, with the Javelineers out now, any amplifier he gets out critter-wise, we can either straight-up kill if it's the archer or uh, force him to not block. Yeah, I'd warn against hoarding this guy. Use him and then swing. Kind of a careless drill master would be a better name for him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. If it's the uh, Lava Runner build or whatnot. But now we've got a nice blocker if he does have it. We'll come on over. I guess you could just call this deck white good stuff, too. Nichols, you still in the house? Oh, yeah, there you are. Duh. <laughs> I was like, I remember seeing the name for a while. All right, we're going to get popped there. I'm just going to do this to do it. Spell slams in the house. Good to see you. Howdy, back to you. All right, here we go. There's a whole lot of damage. Cause splat. Doink. Come on, come on. There we go. All right. Maybe they have that. What's the flame rift? I added four damage to both players. That'd be funny if that's what's in their hand. I like they're tasting mountains. Classic mirage, old school art digging that yeah i've thought about playing that too nimchimsky this is a really good deck for any sort of bouncing shenanigans and cloud shift's a pretty cool one for just one white back when um what was that Dr those drake decks when that when those were still legal i used to play that all the time i forgot why but it was a it was really good tech oh that's right it was to save um my own suture priest because when they started going infinite if they were able to bounce it, they could win, but then I would I would re replay it, and they'd be in the middle of the combo and would die to, like, loss of life. It's pretty awesome. All right, so we're going to shoot that. 
It'd be funny if he could win from here. What would that be for? Yeah, and then a double uh, fire blast might do it. Does he got it? That'd be scary. Even if he doesn't, we might be dead on upkeep. Boy, gotta respect Burn. Oh, all right. Hey, took the weight off there. Another nice double, yeah. Okay. That was a little scary. <laughs> I'm bringing our standard bears as a redirection bait. I'm gonna bring in these things, bring in these. I don't think, or a fracture. I don't think so. I'm gonna lose two of these. All of these. You could argue electric rebate, but I'm fine losing a few critters for that. I've got the cartouche to take care of those things. I've gotta get rid of five more cards. I think I'm going to lean on um, the Death Blade doing work as far as getting rid of stuff. We saw the archers. Sorry, Drill Masters. I'm going to make room. I'm going to bring this back in. Maybe drop. Let's see. What do you guys think of this? Let's see. No need for aura fracture. Yeah, I don't think so either. Do you work out? You look, uh, you look good in the propaganda theme video. Oh, thank you for that. Yeah, I work out. Uh, I... I can't touch weights because I'm kind of a mesomorph and I, I get big really fast and I'm only 5'9", so it looks pretty ridiculous on my frame. But I just do a, I walk a lot. Like I do about a six mile walk most mornings and then just cardio other than that. But I'm sure I'd look a lot better if I could kick my wine habit, but we'll see. I did it for a 100 day challenge. I, what was that? Just like a month or two ago. That was, that was good. Nice little... Always nice to test yourself. Give yourself a little goal like that. Let's see. Smash to smithereens. Clues better than javelin ears. Six. Uh, probably side in flaring pain. Yeah. But again, I'm happy if they do that. That's one less damage happening to me. What do you guys think? I think this is cool. Sorry for that clicking in the background. The uh, yeah, it's like a fog bank rolling in, and the wind's getting up, so it's making the blinds kind of clack. All right, let's hope we get another one here. Text or no text, guys? You like this little screen open so you can read along? I guess burn this can save on screen real estate. Ooh, this is tough. I think we got to ship this. Death Blade's nice, but... Yeah, oh, Mulligan. Hey, yeah, yeah. All right, I'll keep. We've got Archer Bait. Very cool. Throw that on the top. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the more physical therapists and friends I have that are in that field, I know there's people get into marathon running and stuff, but man, just humans were made to walk great distances. Running, not my thing. And I did it for just a little while. Every once in a while, I feel all motivated and get like our orthotics right and all this. And I've never had knee issues. And I, I started running couple months back and got immediately just riddled with like hey why why is that pain there why is this pain there and so they all told me they were like you know it's kind of the th industry behind the scenes they say just don't do that just walk <laughs> you can get a really fast pace going you, you have no injuries and all that stuff so fun 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 18 hey give you a lot of shout outs earlier um give you one again thank you so much for your generosity my friend um traded me this morning and was just like okay and i'm like he wanted to donate and he's like take all my tickets i was like geez awesome generosity my friend thank you so much but i have to focus i'm gonna try to turn off the uh we'll turn off the ability of that so we can at least kill an archer but right now we're kind of hurting here burn might get its first win against us we are 2-1 look to be like we're gonna 3-0 easily um, but oops, looks like we're going to lose to burn if this math keeps up, but, um, elves got away from us. So, all right, really, really, really thinking of sitting on the cartouche play here. Ah, I, I like it in the yard so I can flash it back for standard bearer. I think that's the play. However... I leave this out now. Let me bring this out now. That way my Sky Hunter will be a 3-3 three, three body. 
if he has to uh, roast it. So how do you figure out what sort of body type you are? Like mesomorph, not familiar. Oh, yeah, there's a, I think, uh, what is it? There's endomorph, which is kind of a, a tall, lengthy build, like a lot of basketball players. There's ectomorph, which tend to be a little bit on the heavier side, just naturally, you know, have a lot more fat storage on their body, which is great if you're in the Arctic. And then mesomorph is just kind of that, I guess, the warrior build or whatever. A lot to do with metabolism and stuff. I'm sure you can find more online. That's that's all I know. <laughs> Xenomorph. <laughs> Good one, Puffer Tim. All right. So at least Standard Barrel will take one for the team. Hopefully they just got like four fire, three fire blasts in their hand. That'd be good times. We'll turn on our uh, prismatic next. No matter what we draw, we draw a plane. We're, we're still in it. We've got the cartouche going. But this math is going to start getting pretty nasty. There's a magma jet. Hey, yay, yay. It's like the best spell because he's not wasting a three on it. And then he still gets to hit us for two. And he takes out our dude. And he looks at cards. This is not going well. You mixed up elect. Did I? I apologize. Maybe somebody can find a. Uh, like an article where it lists that, but all right. Standard bearers down. Sorry, somebody's doing construction in the background. Like I said, I got my windows open today to prevent my little head from gleaming with sweat like last week. Apologies for that. Okay, well, we got, we're still at 14. Hmm. I think I'm just going to hold on Prismatic. What do you guys think? I could just drop Cathar. I want to hold because I really want to make this a 4-4. That's the only way we're really going to win this one. I'll attack like we've got more. Eh, that's silly. He might have the little haste dude and so I can keep him at bay or the archer. Yep, I know. That's why I'm kind of holding back on strands. I want to be able to protect my cartouche play next and hopefully prevent a bunch of damage here. It's just when you pull the trigger, right? Who knows? Maybe they got th three mountains in their hand. There's one. There's two. Here we go. Lame that he added on his turn, but that'll at least turn off a whole lot of damage. And we've got the access point for it again next turn. Come on, lone missionary! Followed by Skyfisher. All right. All right. Yeah, I'm getting too low on life here. If he's got fire blast, that that would be really nasty too. But at what point? Okay, we'll shoot you there. He's gonna electricery to get in. <laughs> electricery actually will be able to hurt us. Isn't that funny? Our little dudes weren't doing much there, so I'm actually very glad that he had electricery. I'd much rather that than that to be a fire blast. But it still feels a little like we're not going to win this race. Of course, let's draw missionary or a journey or a something. Let's rock here. This way I can at least represent six damage a turn. Outside of a fire blast. Feeling all right. See, there's another example of electricery. Not that good against the list. It's got two critters that weren't doing much. But I think we're going to lose our first game against Burn here. That'll make us 1-1. We'll still have game three. I'm going to get a little uh, overzealous and really go all out with uh, the life package. I don't know if we brought in our last breaths, but this is that... I don't want to say old school burn because it's not, but it's like the new school. All right. First game we've lost against burn. We'll go to game three here. Ah, man, my 
pen just does not work. It's not the ink. It's just sometimes you just can't make the darn thing right. All right. Here we go. Wouldn't that be funny? We beat Burn, then we beat Elves, like 2-0, 2-0. And then if we lose to Elves, and then we lose to Burn, that'd be uh, pretty cool. As far as a sort of a structured, what would you call it? Okay, yeah, I did have my whole life package in there. Well, that begs the question, with that many critters, I should probably bring in Sunlance. Be quicker than Journey. But what to lose, what to lose. I'll lose two Cathars for it. I've got enough of those 0-3 walls. I'm not too thrilled about those guys. They're an inspector, nice early, and I can at least trip the clue. Javelineers can take care of the archers, and the Deathblade, if it gets online, will kind of be our uh, journey to nowhere on a stick. So, lose the Javelineers? You guys think so? Hmm. I mean, we know he's playing four archers. I don't know about that. Uh, yeah, Cathars can keep the damage going, that's for sure. Let me meet you halfway. I'll lose one javelin here and keep in one Cathar, so we only took one out. Journeys for the Alchemist. Yeah, I'm just curious if I should bring in uh, more journeys. You know what? That's making more sense. If I just keep my full journey package up, I'll be able to take out stuff. I'll keep it at one javelinier and go from there. Usually against burn, I don't bring in that much critter hate, but I think he's running uh, all 12 critters, and there might even be some uh, Keldon Marauders in there too, so I just want to be able to kill stuff. Don't like this hand. Mulligan this. It's all right. Boy, it'd be nice if I saw a missionary. We'll keep. That's pretty good. It's probably going to die, though, but we'll draw it. All righty. Let's start off with an inspector. Somebody's got to make a trinket mage inspector deck and call it Inspector Gadget. Not that creative, but sure fits. I like the inspector for being able to dig up, um, dig stuff up, and at least it's a roadblock. Anti-electric array. Hmm. Yeah, this is interesting, huh? Yeah, he will. I just. I don't know if that's the the play or the sky hunter because I'm so you know searing blaze, sky hunter is going to be a a problem. Ah, got to play to win. Let's see. Bring this out. Going to represent race damage at least. I see a alchemist. I might drop the. The dude, but for right now, hmm. See how Sky Hunter's been hiding from us. All right, there it is. Come on, journey. All right. Well, there's that. I'll get this dude out. Provoke on the Alchemist is not that good of a play because he's just going to keep auto-firing, turning it into a Gatling gun. <sighs> I hate making this such a huge target. Let's do that. Scare him a wee bit, maybe? Who knows? Got Lightning Bolt to turn, Prismatic in hands. He's already got an amplifier out, though. So my uh, prediction of trouncing elves and then or burn and then elves and then getting trounced might come true. It'd be a very evenly structured hate show. Yeah, that's right, spell slam. They can they can just get that guy going on auto fire. Well, he's got a nice little board wipe here. He's got to trip it now. Not too worried about that. Down they go. Still got. 
my main guy. What did he reveal? All right, that's good to know. Hmm. Ah, I can't. I have five mana right now. I know that thing's gonna eat it. I'm gonna stay back on strands. I know we're at twenty. I just gotta keep this guy hunter alive. Maybe uh, just revealing that they have uh, a lot more lands or something, or they're just playing good. There's that option too. <laughs> we get hit. Here we go. So mountain searing blaze is what I would really like to see, so I could at least stop something from going down. There's that. All right. That's not going to do much. Well, maybe they overboarded. Hmm. Darn it. All right. We'll trip this. Hopefully our Sky Hunter lives. Is he dead? All right. Magma Jet's out. There's that. Our Cathar will at least prevent us from uh, being attacked by the Martyr. That feels pretty good. That feels even better. Let's journey that amplifier. Now he's got chain lightning. We can last breath ourselves. It's probably more along the lines of what we're going to be doing. This is a fun one. Martyr of Ash as I fly over the battlefield. Here we go. You can do this! <laughs> Leave my Sky Hunter alone, you jerk. Nix that. I don't know if we're going to have enough of a clock. It's been fun. See you later, Sky Hunter. At least we're preventing three to ourselves, but ouch. All right, let's clear this out. Off we go. Kaboom. Down he goes. Double options now. What am I doing? Play this. <laughs> it's like such a good card against Martyr. It's like, oh, wipe the board. And he's back. Yeah, that guy's got to go. Ah, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Hmm. Well, we know he's not going to trip the martyr now. It's kind of a strange synergy, isn't it? We've got our sideboard in our hand. Ah, da, 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 da. All right. No, I don't want to do that. Strands can't get in our graveyard fast enough. I wish White had a good way of discarding outside a patrol hound. That's not even like an option. This is good times. Because Loyal Cathar and Prismatic are made for each other, but it would just be neat if they had like some benevolent bodyguard effect and you could discard a card. Because there's so often times, whether I'm playing Gond or uh, any sort of white variety with prismatic strands, it's like, ah, sometimes it really, really stalls your turn if you're trying to play into it. Guardian of the Guild Pack versus Boros might be good. Yeah. Actually, I think COP Red versus Boros might be the call. Did they drop a land? Did they drop a land? I don't think they dropped a land. And he's doing what? Oh, he's just turning on damage. Let's turn this off.
getting low enough on life. Probably going to have the inspector go take his last breath. Oh, he did play him. Okay, good. I was like, uh, I'm, I'm looking at the uh, thing. Oh, gosh, there was just so much text there. Yeah, plays mountain. Okay. Why didn't I see that? Oh, yeah, I was buried at the top there. All right, I prevented. All right, boink. Here we go. Trip your martyr now. That'd be a funny play. Yeah, that Cathar's a beast on defense. Thank you for whoever said, put that in there. All right. Well, that's not the greatest thing, is it? But I can at least uh, whisk it away with last breath. I think the play here might be to trip the clue. Let's attack first. Close game. Very close. Okay, see, <laughs> that'd be funny if he does have smash to smithereens. Ooh, liking this play. Let me trip this now. Hmm. We could turn off the archer. What do you guys think? Should I uh, trip strands right now? He's got one card in his hand. That'll come back. I could wipe the board. What do you guys think? Thank you for that, Wang Chun. You're right. Let it go, says Mr. Carry 16. Got plenty of time. Cycle first. I don't know if we have any one mana instants. I want to keep up last breath. Let's cycle at the end of the turn, maybe. All right, looks like we're going to let this guy eat it here. Down he goes. Uh, one mana. You're right, I think I'll cycle now. Flyer. No. Hmm. Interesting. Now, if we put the Death Blade out, and he's got two red sources, he wipes the board, and that would suck. However, if we cartouche now, it feels a little un awkward, but um, we're going to get our dude back. I Yeah, I'm going to cartouche this guy instead of bringing out Death Blade. He might be sitting on something. That way we can at least block with our little dude. And we don't get our whole board wiped if he's sitting on like a fire blast right now. This is true. But we wouldn't have had strands if we didn't play the cartouche. I guess we could do the... Uh, so he reveals a thermal alchemist. And he's trying to do that for one. Well, we're going to prismatic strands. Save our crew. Really want. What do we want? What do we want? Red. What do we want to draw? Another prismatic would be pretty nice. Journey to nowhere. Let's call that. I don't really want to give our opponent four life. That's mostly for us. Okay. This feels good. Alrighty. Attack. Be cool if that would have been a sky fisher. We could bounce back the zombie Cathar and turn him back turn him back alive. I don't know. Reanimate. How that what's the saying? How's it go? Here's three. Keep up our last breath mana. 
What trick is this? Forgotten cave. Here comes some sort of new devilry. What is this? Rift Bolt. To the standard bearer. To the life. Still use your spell. Your alchemist does nothing. That thing's been targeted like crazy. All right. So we're 3-1 now. Hoping to go 4-1. Beat Burn twice. Really beat Elves and then got beaten by it in a close one. Where well Wisher was definitely the difference. Guys, I'm going to go take a quick break. Hey, all you propaganda knights. Want a great deal that also helps propaganda? Well, you're in luck. Visit FlipSideGaming.com for all your paper magic needs. Simply enter the code PROPAGANDA and get 10% off on all orders $10 or more. Plus, you'll help us too. Are you feeling bogged down or despondent? Has a friend or loved one noticed you look withered? Then Phyresius may be right for you. Phyresius is an all-natural Phyrexian supplement that can give you a different outlook on life. Do not take Phyresius while enchanted, equipped, or have shroud. Players taking Phyresius should not man vehicles for at least three turns. Avoid contact with humans or merfolk if you've had a recent gut shot or have had any interactions with the graveyard. In extreme cases, exile may occur. Ask your alchemist if Phyresius is right for you. Available at Morassa's Market. And we're back. All right, a little bit of flood, but the step's going to take care of it. Hope you guys like that new skit. No, that is not me. That is uh, Upright Citizens Brigade. They are they don't get enough love, so I'm always trying to show people that. Can't find many of them online either. So, uh, yeah, I've, I've got the old DVDs, and I figured out a way to a really cool way on the new Windows 10 uh, to be able to rip the footage. So, all right, we're going to keep. Yeah, here we go. But, yeah, they just have they have so many good skits. Played a few of them. I mean, uh, that ast the astronaut and uh, Moon Cheese Baby, all those uh, skits. That's it's all those dudes. So, all right, all right, okay. Well, we're looking up. We've got double elite up against some sort of Rakdos thing with looks like Natalie Portman. <laughs> all right. Um, all right, we'll go aggro. Just. Being that it's Rakdos, I was considering dropping it in Elite to eat up an Edict or something, but this looks spicy. I'm just glad it's not Burner Elves. We've had enough of that today, so. Woo! Yeah, it's kind of fitting to play the Piracius commercial with Exile because we just exiled for the win right before that. It's almost like I drew it up. Alrighty. Hmm. Let's bring this out. He's probably some sort of angler build, maybe? Who knows? All right. Terminate. Bye-bye, birdie. Let me just skip with the boardroom. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. The boardroom, yeah. I, I pretty much you almost don't need to watch the show. I'll always show you the best stuff here and cut out all the fluff in the middle. But some of it's a little too uh, racy because I don't care. I don't, I'm not religious or anything like that but you know don't want to overly be offensive especially if my arguments always like try it why I try not to swear to is you know kids play magic too and maybe there's somebody out there and we need all the help we can get viewer wise so I don't want to be ostracizing anyone uh, let's just trip this up boom boom I could cartouche the uh, Cathar for three but I'm just gonna assume that they're not running a creatureless build, and we'll at least be able to do something there. Then we'll do some cycling goodness next. And hopefully we're still alive. Grave Scrabbler. I'm getting nervous. This is weird. Yes, it will be very interesting. Yes, reanimation. I'm glad I'm holding a journey to nowhere. That's for sure. Boy, that wind is kicking up. The only reason I can live in the greater Los Angeles area is where we live, right on the coast. So it's, it's so funny. It'll be like... It's almost chilly today, but you go four or five miles east and it's just sweltering. I don't think I could have 
lasted more than a year or two here if we didn't move this direction. But man, is it expensive. You want a house out here? I mean, you want a shack. Million bucks. There's nothing pauper about living in California, that's for sure. This state is going crazy. My brother moved out to Colorado. He's got some property. He is loving it. All right. Golgari looks like some sort of TE build. I haven't really seen TE yet. Maybe it isn't. Who knows? But at least we'll be able to keep the board clear. Good news. Going against a Rakdos deck, unless he pulls out a Silvok life staff, we're pretty much... His uh, life total is his life total, other than the little bouncy land pain goodness. However you want to say that. Let's cycle... Maybe we'll get a, uh, nope, all right, well, there's double those dudes, hmm. Yeah, we got double journey. I don't want that guy in the graveyard. I'm going to journey it. Grave Scrabblers in the graveyard can get out of hand pretty quick. He's got the mana to do it. And plus, this two damage, let's, let's get it, let's get it online. Not familiar with Cali, are you close to the bay, or is that San Francisco? No, I'm, I'm more in the, uh, Los, Los Angeles area, really close to Marina Del Rey. Like I said, we've got a thing called June Gloom, and it stays for a good 40 days, and it's like winter and summer, and it's, I love it. But, boy, you, you just go a little little while away. and That was what it was like because I grew up in Northern California, and when, it was always this um, like juxtaposition of – where you are compared to San Francisco, it was always the opposite. So if I left the house and it was like blazing hot, like near Lake Tahoe, and you by the time you got to San Francisco, it was just like you'd need two sweaters on. Really, really, San Fran's a pretty cold town. That that water is so frigid, and it's usually really windy. So if anybody's seen the new Ant Man movie, the whole thing takes place in San Fran. It was pretty cool. Good, good summer flick worth seeing. All right. Let's kill this. Who wants to read? All right. Gray Scrabbler coming back. Oh, I was wrong about the life thing. Let's see. I have a little brown scale in his thing there. That's just there for the life gain. So, yeah, I'm thinking I want to just journey that too. We've got Sky Fishers. I don't think we're going to be running in. I think this is like a... Maybe he, yeah, he's he's got to have a, whatchamacallit, um, ah, what am I trying to think of, uh, Tortured Existence. I'll put this on something we don't care about in this scenario. You don't want to target quality here. You want to target the thing you care the least about. So he can't kind of two for one you in a weird sort of way with an ability like that. So got enough power on the board. We're not feeling too bad about the, uh. Here we go, nine to twenty. I don't know if he's got away. Yeah, he can. He can uh, faithless loot. It'd be kind of neat if he made it without teach. I mean, um, tortured existence. I spent a few days in Inglewood as a tourist. Yeah, yeah, that's quite a bit east of here. Not the best part of town. So it's weird about LA. It's like, I think most places are that way. You get like a checkerboard. It's like this is a good part of town, followed by bad, followed by good, followed by bad. It doesn't seem like there's a. A place. Oh, all right. All right. Maybe this is. We've got stinkweed and neonate now. So this is a. Maybe there is a crusher in our future. But at this stage, I'll we'll just start sacking stuff and attacking with a war falcon if he lets us uh, exhume it. Here we go. I'm just glad we're not against burner elves again. That was getting a little repetitive. This is cool. Sacrifice him, draw a card. I think it's worth trading the elite for that. Just cards always good. Yep. And uh, I mean, Crusher's a bad example, but if they've got like some big five-five, you just keep blocking it and tri tripping its ability. It's good times. This way, he doesn't get his draw ability if he wants to keep this alive. Yeah, it's pretty hard not to It'd be an amazing feat if LA didn't have bad neighborhoods because it's just so gigantic. Its population's just 
out of control. And it's it just goes and goes and goes. You can drive for three hours and still be in L.A. County in any direction almost. Except west. Unless you want to get really wet. Okay. This is... He gets back the neonate. Looks like we're going to have to kill a scrabbler here. He's playing this really well. Four blockers. Yep. Yeah, if anybody out there by chance has any leads, too. I'm, I'm looking for a new gig, so that's why I've had so much free time. Know anybody? Need somebody that can edit really well? That's me. No false humility here. There, let's do it. Come on. Keep wanting wizards. It's like, come on, guys. Put me on staff. Let me make your trailers. Let's see. Two, three, four, five, six. That's dead. Brown scale's going to be back. Do I keep it? Uh, I think I'm going to let that go, and I think I'm going to get my damage in while I can here. He's pay off that brown scale next turn since he's tapped out. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool, Ken Waku. I would like that. Because you always got to be a little careful what you wish for. Sometimes, like when I stream more than w once a week, you do get a little bit of a burnout factor. So, Yeah. <laughs> I'm still just astounded at the the wall of this that I run into when I try to, on Twitter or email, try to approach any wizard employee. And yet, you know, their homepage always just has, look at this, look at this, look at this. And it's like, we've always been just, I don't know what I'm doing wrong or what. It's just uh, always been that way. All right, here's a great example of why Deathblade Elite is awesome. Let's attack. Let's provoke and let's prevent. And yeah, the home run would obviously be doing that kind of stuff or working for them because, gosh, I could get up in that area of the country, which is like my favorite area. It's always kind of overcast. Love it. Interesting. Yeah, well, they might. Maybe it's a salty employee. I know they've got. Every job's got its good goods and bads. All right. Let's stay focused here. First game going up against some sort of Rakdos coolness. Ah. You show me another format that can have this much diversity. Everything's kind of an option and available and very cool. Here he goes with the Grave Scrabbler. It's trading time. There's the tortured existence in the yard. Poor guy. Probably needs it to pull off. He's doing pretty good without it. He's got four cards to R1. Let's make sure to trip this. Prevent all combat damage. Yeah, my last job just started getting really toxic. I was there for 16 years, and uh, time for a change. It's weird having all this time, though. Man, like the weekends have lost their their meaning. It's been like two months of just like, he's kind of feeling like a bum. <laughs> yeah, this guy's pulling, pulling out all the stops. That darn brown scale's keeping him in it. He'd be dead... While while ago, you might consider blocking the uh, death blade and getting rid of that ability to turn off the imp. Yeah, not not even close, Wing Chun. You're right. But it beats what I'm making now, right? Wink, wink. Yeah, I learned a lot. Yeah. No, oh, any job can get that way. You just uh, There's a lot of ageism in, in our uh, business. 
and it shouldn't really surprise anybody in Hollywood, you know. Everybody wants to look young and everybody gets hair jobs and nose jobs and whatever. But, um, yeah, I just run into it a lot. It's that typical, we don't want to pay you that. We'll pay this person that sucks an eighth of the wage and blah, blah, blah. And it's like, well, yeah, and then it takes them ten times as long and you have to redo it 40 times and you end up paying more for it. Always good to give the expert what they want. Never have I wanted to trip a clue more than now, but I'm not going to... Huh. What do you think the play is here, guys? That vampire's no joke. That's the way it is. That is the way. And fortunately, the family just loves it here. Kids are got their school locked in, so we want to stay at least a few more years for that reason. But yeah, I'm kind of getting a little wanderlust for another state. Colorado's looking really good where my brother's at. Be nice to have seasons. I get really jealous. He shows me these cloudy skies and thunderstorms happen like every four hours, and then it's bright, and then it's back again. Very cool. He lives out by Lone Tree. Semi cough, anyway. <laughs> All right. Um, Blue Man Vampire. I think I'm just going to attack into the. Let's provoke the stinkweed. Yep. I want to at least keep my guys alive a little bit. I don't know if he's got any shenanigans with one mana. He might. Cathers are going down. I'm going to keep this dude alive. And we'll pass the turn. Hope for the best. Oh. Attack! <laughs> Thank you, Nichols. Yes. Hopefully I'm doing it justice. Have you tried again, Nichols? I know you, you got your, you're all excited about getting your first 5-0. Congrats again on that. But have you taken it for another spin? Yeah, we just gotta... Don't get that damn brown scale. Faithless Looting. Methonical and I are in love with that card. Whenever you're brewing with it, seriously try four. It's, it really makes... It, you can keep up with blue. and There's exceptions, but... Our builds always go from like two to three to four, and so now it's just like auto four. Too good without... All right, he's going to bring that dude back. These Cathars are MVPs so far. Aha. I'm not sure if I'm going to play the challenge on Sunday. There's a slight chance next week's show might not happen. I don't know for sure yet. I've got two buddies. Buddies is an understate. I've known these guys since I was five. They're brothers, and they're coming down, and... Uh, just to hang out for the weekend. I'm so stoked to see them, but I don't know if they're going to get here early or not. So apologies if at the last minute I'm like, there's no show today, but that could happen. All right. Before I reveal that I drew a flyer, I can't really do much of anything else. Let's attack. I don't know if it's even worth doing uh, all three of them. You can do a block, block, take two. Let's go for it. Oh, well, senior video program manager position in Redmond, Washington. <laughs> yeah, program manager is not much to do with it. One of the things that sucks the worst about my profession is uh, the word editor is so widely used. So sometimes I'll be like, oh, that sounds great. And I click on it. It's like for a book or something. I'm like, you don't want me with my dyslexic tendencies editing your book. <laughs> There's lots of different kinds of editors. Yeah, that's kind of the problem, though, being a being a father with kids at the age they are. If I do find this great job somewhere else, I can't really go there without, unless we were really hurting. But that's, I could probably stay like this for a couple of years. Don't want to, but it's like a pre-retirement, right? There's your ageism for you. Wink, wink. Hopefully we just keep going along, making enough noise. Hopefully it gets to the professor style of noise. He's always helping us out, promoting stuff. But one of these days we'll get noticed. Until then, we're all having a good time. Natalie Portman's at two life. K 
can we kill her? Crypt rats. This guy's got all the fixins. We've got to put it put a hurting on him fast. Journey's really, really doing well for us here. So much so it'd be nice to have another one. Oh, interesting. Ah, getting a little antsy. Ah, need to stretch. Need to get up and move. Let's see. All right. Hey, that's pretty good. He's got to be able to kill that, right? Can't just win here. Zap. Cycling, maybe, for a zap. Okay, there's that. Hmm. All right. You know, he's uh, only got 19 cards left, and I still don't see Crusher. It's going to turn up the heat here. Fly Central. Yeah, we got Relics. That's a good point. Thank you for that. Any uh, another Scrabbler? <laughs> I know. These things just keep coming out. I should like this card more. I like Halloween so much. Looks pretty cool. There's the stink. Knew I smelled something. Sorry, my chin keeps hitting the mic. I just touched my glasses and I got a big old smudge now. Ugh. I felt like such a jackass when I started wearing glasses. I, my, uh, hmm. All right. My, uh, I was like, gosh, what's the best way to clean these? And <laughs> talk to, you know, my wife who wears them all the time. She's like, soap and water? I'm like, yeah, I never thought of that. <laughs> I actually didn't. I was like thinking of all these other w weird things. But God, just got all like Dawn soap and water and clear as a crystal. Good stuff. Yeah, I don't think it's worse than Demir as far as the boring ratio goes. It's it's nice to see somebody playing like a vampire build, not leaning heavily on it's just neat to see it working without tortured existence he knows what he's doing journey next i hope i hope let's get rid of that grave scrabbler he's gonna go up to four i can swing for six if he's got any sort of terminate shenanigans who knows he can't really bring back Ooh, that feels really good he can't really bring back much of anything just due to only having 15 cards left that uh, delve ability on this is going to wear out pretty quick. Might win by decking. Who knows? There's that and that. I'm not going to move until he moves because we've got the win here if he doesn't do this. What's he got? Yeah. Hmm. Well, I want to save it. Well, let's save it. Has he got another one? Maybe he does. He does. Look at that. <sighs> Zap, bam, boom. All right. Well, no crypt rats in our future. That's funny. That poor vampire is like, I want to attack. <laughs> Now I just need to do anything but a land here. All right, the robot's in the house. Pimping the YouTube channel. Yep. That'd be a funny turn. Be like a couple months from now, still don't have a job, and be like, now you're forced to try to stream every day and make your funds that way. I don't think there's enough of an audience for that to even be a remote thing, but hey, after the generosity today of Fun 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 18, maybe it's a thing, who knows? But again, that might turn it into a job. I like the idea of working very close to home, but sometimes you want to be just far enough away where it feels like work's over there. This is, this is my town. But boy, it would be cool to walk to work. There's a few places right here in town that I'm trying to get in at, but always helps to know somebody. That's why I'm... I'm 
pimping my services out there now. You never know what the audience we've got. Maybe they're watching it on YouTube in a couple of days and they're like, hey, my dad so-and-so, blah, blah, blah. And then you got a vouch and you're all set. I've only gotten one job in my whole life and it was the last one where I didn't know anybody. It was just strength of my work. Here it is, boom, cold call, hire. And I was like, that felt very good. I have never been asked for my degree and that upsets me to no end. It's like, if I could go back in time, I might not go to college for the job that I do. It's just ridiculous. Like four and a half years of, that I could have just been fast forwarded. This is troublesome. He's attacking us now. He's probably got, I might get this guy in time. You guys are right. How many of these does this guy run? We ate the other two. Good grief. Ah. We are just stuck in the mud here. I think he's going to be able to pull this out. Yeah, I had an in at Blizzard helping out with, you know, their their games and stuff, but yeah, just way too far away. One of the things I love about not having a gig right now or, or my last gig was it moved three times. And so I used to live this far away. Then they moved here and then they moved here. And so it was like there were days, I am not joking, it almost took me two hours to get to work. And that's that's no way to live. Half hour, fine. Sometimes bad traffic, whatever. But that was starting to become the norm. And, uh, and that's just getting there. That was ugh, a terrible way to go. All right, let's see. Five. He's coming in for lethal. Hmm. Did you punt last term? Could you have played the growth on the Falcon for the win? He had a double um, lightning bolt. I was trying to keep it alive. Either way, we were trying to force through two. I think if I did it on the Falcon last turn, he would have had the second bolt, and we wouldn't we wouldn't have a Falcon right now. So I don't think so. What do you guys? He's got Stinkweed. He can't really bring it back anymore. If we attack with the Falcon next, I think we block with the Inspector. Take four. Glad those bolts aren't hitting us now. Jeez. Strange, strange deck. Hats off to the guy. He's got a pretty cool thing there. Well, let's see. Can we do it? We can't. But we can at least... I don't even know if that's the play. <laughs> this is weird. Hmm. That dies. We don't really care about that. I almost want to get that vampire out of the way. What do you guys think? I, I cast that and I'm like, oh, and I'm like, well, hmm. We're going to be able to block kill Scrabbler. We're dead next turn. I've got, I've got to play defense now. And he's got seven cards left. He, he if we do attack or, or block this this block happens, it's the last we're going to see of the stinkweed anyway. Yeah, I think you're right there, Mr. Carey. Let's get rid of this guy. If I attack now, but now do we attack with the War Falcon? Hmm. We can block kill Scrabbler. Yeah, either way, let's attack. Or not. You know what, I think our out now is to maybe double block and just try to run them out of cards. Help me out here, guys. Am I seeing everything clearly? Double block in our future. He's got 11 minutes. We're not too far behind either. Uh, I think we're going to pass. Got him at three with the Javelinier, but... And darn thing's coming back. Yeah, our game strategy has just switched. This is all about the Killing Stuff show. Double blocking time. 
Shoot this time. Get rid of these boys. No lightning bolt, please. Something. All right. That works. Not for long. Could have been a heck of a lot better draws there. Another journey would be nice. We're at two. Do we have any life gain main? I don't think so. God, this is the first game. Sorry for this long one, guys. This is cool. Next turn we can... Uh, <laughs> we can elite... Use the elite ability next turn and trip the Javelineers to kill his only critter. We'll be at one life. That'll be interesting. How many bolts are in his yard? One, two, three, four. All of them. All right. Well, there goes that plan. We need a... Uh... He doesn't even want to use the Neonate's ability. Oh, that thing has Menace, too. That might kill us. Ah, man. We're in a tight spot. Yep. Dead here, huh? Just to use up as much time as possible, let's let's take out the imp. Make him think that maybe we're sitting on something. Maybe he'll trip the uh the dude in response here. We'll say yes. Bring this in. Make sure the damage happens. Yeah, he brought it back. Kudos to him for that. All he's got to do. I've never been killed with a neonate before. I guess there's a first time for everything. Do a little nice little bluff play here. And pass. <laughs>
Yeah, that's what I love about this deck. People just auto bring in electric rate. It's like, not that good. I'm liking this. We got proof against lightning bolt. So that'll be cool. That was an L. All right, guys. Sorry, I'm going to go a little radio silent. At least I'm going to attempt to. I wonder where the snow lands. I can't help but narrate. Sorry. The one car that could kill our dude. Come on now. Drillmaster, why can't you have haste? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not in that big of a problem here. Can I have a one in front of that nine, please? I need 19 minutes to do this right. We're going to time ourselves out. We're the one down a minute. Huh? Alrighty. That's strange. First strike on that dude. Alright. Can't wait much longer on this guy. I hate doing this, but... <laughs> yeah. Let's give him first strike. How do you like that? Bam! Not feeling good. We're at least going to 3-2 today, so that's cool. But It would be nice if we could get a 4-1, but... Time is not on our side. Why the Aether Chaser? Very strange. <laughs> I'm going to take two anyway. Let's block that. No first strike for you. Hey! Cavalry Master. Man, it's getting windy. Sorry about this, guys. Hopefully it's not coming through on the mic too much. Electricery. Hmm. Man, I want to take four to save this damn thing. That's all I got, baby. That's... Jeez. Huh. Well, we're hurting for life, so let's... <laughs> let's make nothing happen. Don't think we're winning this one, guys. Got eight minutes. We're already hell-bent. Only good news is we've got Relic, but I'm probably going to have to trip it to do anything here. Pretty cool way. I mean, nobody wants to lose, but I'd much rather lose to this than, like, Barring Tron or face elves or burn again. Ah, thank you, Sky Fisher. You're such a good card. Man, it's just Zendikar was nuts. You think about all the gems that came from Zendikar. That was just whew. I don't remember it feeling that like everything blowing up when it happened, but boy did it. That four life felt good. I'll stay back here. I can still trip it. We don't have anything graveyard dependent. But like I said, don't you guys agree? If you're going to lose to something, it's really cool to lose to this this neat list from Sakura here. This is nice. It's when you know you like Popper a little too much, you're even happy to lose. <laughs> a tiny bit of profit on the day if we do go, uh, whatchamacallit, 3 2. Be too bad. Speak of the devil. I don't know if I really want to be attacking here. Two, two. I'm, I'm getting nibbled, but I'm going to stay back. D playing the D. Keep on brewing in the free world. Yeah, three, two is always kind of my goal with a lot of my rogue lists. Oftentimes we go two, three. Get the numbers a little reversed. I think my play in the last 
three or four months though has gotten exponentially better as far as on Twitch anyway because I've eliminated F6. It used to be like one or two times a, a tournament where that, that would come into play and it was like, yikes. All right, liking this. I'm gonna go all in. What do you think? It's almost unkillable if I do it. I'm gonna choose this actually. In scenarios, we saw a lot of lightning bolts earlier. I've gotta trick one of them. For striking dudes, pretty good against uh, everything. Now we'll attack. What's F6? You don't want to know. That used to be the only hotkey option. Now you can set your hotkeys, but it, it was the uh, yield to the whole turn. And sometimes you just get muscle memory and you're trying to host the show. And I'm chatting, boink, and I'd hit it. And it's like, oh, crap, I could have responded. I could have won. I could have, could have, could have, could have. Could have been a jackass, is usually how it works out. That's right, Nim Chimsky. Whoo! All right. Happy Friday the 13th for all you superstitious people out there. Boy. Looks janky, but uh, it's got a lot of meat. We got six minutes. Psycho. Boy, oh boy, did uh, did Skyfisher turn this around? Made us draw some cards really quickly and boink. Well, let's go from here. I think the only way we're really winning this is if we go full on air power. I'm gonna block with the warrior token and last breath it. Wouldn't have thought after the first game that we'd be last breathing ourselves. Hmm. Almost Saturday here, says Mr. Carey. My youngest is really into that Fortnite like the rest of the country. And boy, he got like, I think it was three first places yesterday. He's becoming quite the good digital assassin. Darn, those little servos keep adding up, don't they? Let's block the big dude. That's about all we can block, really. You would think that that flies, but I guess it doesn't. Game life. Second time we've done it. Think about that. We'd be at, what, nine? It's not a propaganda deck if you can't gain life. I love gaining life. Think how awesome uh, white mages would be if, if magic really did exist too, where you could just like elongate your life with just little elixirs and stuff. You're like, chug it down. We're still down a minute. We can't seem. Let's do that. I'm not too worried about even a stinkweed right now. Yeah, it seems like it completely changed into a different deck, doesn't it? It's a trip. Only one card in our opponent's hand. We're coming over for six a turn. Skyfisher's out of range. That might end up going all the way. We might pull this one off. Yeah, I don't have a... I don't like streams with music. I figure you guys, you know, probably get tired of my voice. You can put it on mute. If you like commentary, play your own music. It's, if it was one or two really close friends and I knew what you guys like to listen to, that's fine. But sometimes I'll, I'll tune into a stream and it's like, are you trying to be a DJ or play magic? It's like I'm, I might, I'm trying to listen to what they're saying and it might be a song I can't stand or something. I'm like, ah... I'd probably be playing the soundtrack to Dexter if if you're curious. Nice little brood music, brewing, whatever you want to say. We're three two right now, T Core. 
Oh yeah, I'm, I'm assuming we're three two. <laughs> we might be four one. I gotta get a little more optimistic, right? All right, I think it's time to trip. Maybe when this goes dead, I'll trip the relic. Oh, I like Hans Zimmer a lot. Yeah, he's great. Inception is one of my other favorite soundtracks. Is just so. Inception was a neat one because the uh, he actually he meaning Hans Zimmer they actually wrote the music first. Very rare that that uh, happens. Block the big boy. These tokens are getting out of control. What's the best play here? Let's return a plane. Play a cather. Swing. Hmm. Let's try to stay alive. I think we might be able to at least pull even here. This has got double lightning bolt with one card. That'd be pretty hard to do. Oh, all right. Hey, got four minutes to win. That's blowing away my stat sheet. There's a double ya. All right. You know, for my time's sake, I think I want to lose the relic. I don't know. That's such a time hog. All right, guys, what were you saying? I mean, the cartouche really kind of wanted their Yosos. Stats are blown in the wind, that's right. I'm a little lost here, I'm flustered, guys. Help me out. What did you like about the last one? We got, we got two minutes. I'm feeling like, uh, when you're under the gun on the clock, I hate that. Uh, out with the relic. Who's in favor of that? Sorry, I'm clicking that pin. That must get irritating. I think I just want to be problematic here. Four minutes. Relic's great against that deck, but I just don't want to have to keep tripping it. What do you guys think? Lose it. Take out Relic. Bring in Prismatics to win the race. That's not bad. It's like, what deck's going to show up? The thing's so cool at transforming. Let's bring in... I'll go that route just to keep it fresh. These have been some pretty long games. Cather really serves some gas there. I'm liking this in this matchup. How do you think of that? I like that. Let's see. Keep relics as Kinwaku. I like the cartouches just for the first strike ability and being able to, as we saw, keep cannon fodder, keep throwing stuff in front of the, the fire. Metagenics going to really save. Keep relics. You can at least blow it up. All right. Relics seem to have it. Um... Let's do that. The Drill Master, that was a frustrating game. We won that game, though, but it was frustrating having to hard play them and then eat them. You're right. Just because I'm down on time doesn't mean I should make the make it worse. Hey, all right. We got a nice heavy. We might be able to pull off a 4-1 here. Okay. The problem is he kept his, too. Things are looking good so far. We've got air power and we've got defense and journey. If an early stinkweed imp shows up, turning on his graveyard already. Yeah, you guys are right. Siscons, you're right. I'm glad I kept in relic. I just hate losing on time. I feel like it's a double loss because I like to do that to people. It's like, <laughs> let's drop this dude, this dude. Oh, is he old? Attack. Let's get some firepower going. 
Game three, trying to get a 4-1 with Nichols. Cool. White Nickel, the new deck. Yeah, Nichols' uh, white weenie deck here. <laughs> All right, well, let's do this. I, sometimes I might bring back the other thing. I'm just trying to get extreme aggression going here. We've got three minutes. Opponent does not look like he's going to get mana screwed. This is just going to become the uh, Sky Show here. Sky Fisher, Sky Hunter. We're going to keep keep with that plan of attack until uh, Stinkweed shows up. Well, that kind of sucks. Might have to pop the journey now, right? Because if I pop the journey now, I have to eat one of my own uh, inspectors. But we have a uh, Sky Fisher in our hand, so yeah, I think I'm going to do that. His best place to pop it. He loses both creatures. We get it back next turn, and he, may, he might be thinking he's doing a cool little move. <laughs> We're mana screwed, and then we, we get the thing that says sack of land. That's funny. All right. Bit of a punt there. I should have. Um, he punted a little bit too, though. He should have done that before targeting. I'd be down a critter. Okay, come on. No more heat, no more heat, no more heat. Uh, that's all right. Well, no, it isn't. <laughs> that sucks. All right. God, I love Skyfisher. Such a good card. But here's where I want to... i got to bring this back. I would love to have tempo on this turn, but... but here I can double block with Inspector with its nice big fat backside. And I can at least trade. Oops. Down goes. It's cool, whatever it is. I'm liking it. Boy, do we need a double block. It's a one for one trade, unless he's got lightning bolt. I'd much rather him use lightning bolt now than on our sky fishers and such. Turn off all those damn tokens. Alrighty. I'm not going to do it now, guys. Sorry. Get this. Just going to do what the game calls for. Bring this dude out. Attack with this. Let's go. He's at 12. Zero cards in hand. I did not notice that till just now. This is good times. Got two minutes. We might be able to... Oh, thank you for that, Ninchinsky. Or... Uh, I'm not quite sure who wrote that. It's all dark. Woo! Tough call, tough call. Hmm, I'm going to just go real basic here. Got two minutes. <laughs> I'm just going to let him decide. Cool. Less stuff to worry about. Clear graveyard or clear clear board. Two minutes left. If we're gonna lose, it's awfully cool to lose to a deck like this because it's pretty nice looking. Cactus Jack. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna just trip this for the card right now. I want stuff. Give me firepower. I guess we could play that. We'll play this. Followed by this. And I'm gonna trip it again. Play this. Attack. Cool. Here we go. We got a minute. I gotta shut up and focus. Hmm. 
nail biting end. Can we four one? It seemed hopeless. Now it seems hopeful. It's got an electricery, I bet. Hey, Nichols, we four one. All right, with one minute left, that was pretty cool. Let me go over the deck list again here. Don't go anywhere, everybody. I'm going to go check this out. And they call him Cactus... Oh, that's what the reference is. I'm sorry, I'm a little bit slow today. And I haven't seen the movie, so... Um, so anyway, Nichols uh, built this. Kudos to him. And uh, as you can see, it's a pretty good deck. So we've got uh, 16 basic planes. Two steps in my version. Um, I can't remember what... If, if uh, the Kibera crossroads are being used still or what. I think the step's the right way to go. As we saw against Burn, uh, we beat Burn twice, so I think that's kind of an argument for the step. So, almost got there. <laughs> yeah, I think the, the last time we 5 0 we had to play Delver, the Mezzles Delver list, and it was just like, gosh, 5 0s are easy when you play that. <laughs> these these are grinds, though, but a lot of fun, a lot more my style this way. Uh, four Cartouche, four uh, Deathblade, four Devil Nears, four Thurim Inspectors, four Falcons, three Mutagenics, three of these. Four of these, four of these, four of these, and four of these. And then in our sideboard, very crafty. Two Sunlance, two Last Breath. This kind of turned into like the MVP, a lot of the, the matchups here. Two Lone Missionaries, three Standard Bears, one Fracture, two Strands, three Progenitus. So, yeah, hats off to you, Nichols. And thanks again to uh, Player Fun 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 18 for just uh, awesome generosity. So, uh, like I said, next week may not have, um, what do you call, um, what am I trying to say here? We may not have uh, uh, a show. Duh. What am I trying to say here? Just because my friends might be in town, but I'm not going to know till like right up against it. So um, yeah. Anyway, so guys, I'm going to roll to a few more things here. If you're new to Propaganda, stay tuned. Otherwise, we'll see you next week on Propaganda. Thanks all.